Good day all. Another day, another walk, another daily drawing. I think my vlogs are taking a bit of a theme here. But I walk every morning, so as I've been busy with drawing, I figure the easiest way to post is to keep my little camera in my pocket. And away I go. And uh, I didn't... I have shared this bit of my walk, I think, many times, but it happens to be when I turn the camera on, so I'm coming around into the one of the many mowing fields I walk through, edging woodland. This is the one that heads down to the saltwater inlets and little mini harbors and rivulets that we kayak into. And the tide is quite low today, so you can probably see a good... Uh, maybe we'll see good animal tracks or something in the sand, as I often do. But look how beautiful. See, the tide is really low, so you can see the sand embankments. And the dew is just starting to glisten. So, let's walk through here. And, uh, sorry, I hear some construction in the background because on the other side of the harbor here, which is actually, it's a mix of private and there's also a public beach on the other side. I think some construction's going on. But a way I can remind myself that it's autumn and not summer that I'm walking this funny little boardwalk made from fence panels is, a little chipmunk is the uh, acorns. The acorns are littering the boardwalk. And of course, it was probably quite still until I walked down here. <laughs> ah, and as I hoped, here we are. See, the tide is out. So last time I walked here, the tide was, I couldn't even walk this little path because the uh, tide was up too high. But look, we have some raccoon tracks. See them leading out. Probably came up to wash his evening supper, his candlelit supper. And we have some deer hooves. Actually, it looks, it's, I don't think it's the right season for offspring, but it looks like two, a larger set and a smaller set of hooves. You can see they lead off here. The deer and the, oh, here's a better version of the, uh, the deer tracks and it's right next to the little piles as i mentioned before these little piles are from the fiddler crabs they make these little balls from their own spittle they roll them up tightly and push them out of the hole oh and i just startled a cormorant lovely morning though isn't it So yesterday was day seven for me. I did seven days in a row of vlogging every day as well as doing my daily artwork and my social medias. And I also write a blog, so I kept up with my blog. And I just have to say, how does Dan do it? <laughs> I may title this vlog, How Does Dan Do It? Dan from Escape to uh, the French Countryside. How does he do it and have a family? Here we go. Here are more little carefully made balls rolled out of this hole so that the little fiddler crab can hide. Now they are most likely well hidden waiting for the tide to come in. And see how far down the tide has got? And I shared a kayaking video of us coming through here. But this of course is part of my daily walk. I'm definitely spoiled for views in my daily walk because I walk large sea on the beach, sandy open ocean, well, open-ish. I walk little salt inlets. I walk wild fields. I walk fields that the owners have taken the consideration to keep mowing paths in. And I walk woodlands and cops of trees. So it's no wonder why I never want to leave. Of course, I'm also a dyed-in-the-wool introvert, so 
Staying content at home is just dare care for me, I think. Now I just notice here, now this could be wild asparagus. This is definitely asparagus growing here. Now this could be wild asparagus. However, I keep asparagus beds. I know our neighbors who have this bit of property, they uh, used to keep asparagus beds. And as you know, asparagus being a perennial, even if you stop taking care of them, and the birds love to eat the seed and they spread. So I wonder if that's actually some asparagus from some of our gardens. And this drying dock, which is definitely a weed, many people think it's a weed, but and it really takes over. But I just love dock when it's this time of the season, because look how beautiful that would be in an arrangement. Especially with this beautiful goldenrod next to it. So you can see as I'm walking normally when I'm not talking to a camera, I'm having these little dialogues and there's a, a raspberry that which may have come from one of my raspberries. And this soft white pine is putting on its Christmas cones. And a little bench where I often stop and take a break on my walk. So I think this is just going to be another short little vlog of my bit of walking. I just had to stop again because passing the bench, I just heard the gulls. It's funny, you'd think I'd be used to or sick of the sound of gulls, but there's something so soothing to me about the call of the gulls. Especially when you first wake in the morning and uh, you've gone to bed and it's been a calm sea and you wake up and the sea's turned and you can hear the pounding of the surf. Because I sleep with my windows open year round. I just turn the heat off in my room, put extra duvets and quilts, put socks on and sleep like a Victorian with my head covered. I'm in a different area now, coming through the field I shared once that used to belong to my husband's family. It now belongs to friendly neighbors who let us use it. But can you see through the field, the house I often show from across our beach? I have one fowler who loves the house, so I thought they might appreciate seeing it from this view through the trees, from the property where you used to look this way out of an old drawing room. And now it's just tweet, trees and field but I cannot complain because I get to walk it every day. And look, there's even another bench for me to enjoy. And here's another vista or aspect of the house through the trees. Wouldn't that make a lovely painting? With the bench to the left and the trees circling the house. Maybe I'll do more landscapes in November. And wild asters, goldenrod, all sorts of lovely things. All right, I'm gonna head down onto the beach and go for the rest of my walk. Oh, I see our errant blue heron. Oh, two of them. Oh good, I feel so much better that he isn't alone. I spoke before how I always see the one blue heron and they should well be on their way. Oh, and there he goes. They should have left for warmer climbs a while ago, so I have no idea. Ha, huh, they're funny squawk. Can you hear them? Of course, they're upset because I just unsettled their fishing spot. But I'm happy to know there's another one. It's odd that they're still here when so many of the other herons have gone. And look at how the juniper berries, I'm not sure if the light's picking it up, but look how beautiful. Those are wonderful in arrangements, especially at Christmas time. All right, 
I'm going to shut you off here, continue on with my walk, and maybe I'll close up back to the uh, when I'm in the field. So this again, as I was saying, just going to be another short vlog of me walking about, rambling and prattling on about nothing, whilst sharing a video of my drawing. Oh, speaking of which, let's look here and I'll talk about my drawing. So in today's drawing, I hope you like it. I had to use another Victorian gown because I just love Victorian gowns. And uh, in this case, I wanted a little bit of tongue-in-cheek magic where let's say our lady heading to the seaside might have a bit of magic up her sleeve. But being a lady and not wishing to waste her magic, she's allowed her seagull footman to carry her teacup. And her other seagull footman is obliging her by carrying her little boxer friend down because her boxer pup is loath to get sand on his feet. <laughs> and that's the storyline for today's little drawing. I hope you like it. I'm really enjoying Inktober because it's really forcing me to create more and sometimes I think you have to push through a creative purge by just really overdoing it for a bit and then when you settle down usually you end up with something nice at the end and uh, maybe I'll end the video here with a nice ending and maybe the last thing I'll show you is I love finding these little spider webs caught with the morning dew and the sun breaking through it I'll leave you with that beautiful image. <laughs>